good morning it's moving day today we are leaving paris so i'm up super early it is i've been up since six i have got to pack this big mess that is behind me uh, and then we're gonna try and go and get some breakfast and then just head out for a little bit our checkout time is 12 o'clock so hopefully we can just go out just have a little wander this morning i want to take Stephen around Stephen wants to see the sunken um house i went to see yesterday and just maybe around montmartre for a little bit this morning and then we're gonna head to the airport i'll tell you where we're going when we get to the airport okay we're pretty much all packed up gonna go downstairs gonna go down to get gonna go downstairs and grab some breakfast quick and then head out ah. for a little while oh are you okay no i hit the lights oh you fool you locked hate it. these doors you locked mm -hmm. it <laughs> okay, we've had our breakfast just heading out for a little bit, I'm absolutely stuffed. Are you stuffed? Yeah. Oh, right, we're going to head up to Sakuka, find this uh, sunken building and show you Stephen. So that's the house there. Yeah. That one up there from down in the gardens. It looks higher from down. It does, doesn't it? There's the sunken house. If you saw yesterday's vlog, you'd have seen this already, but it's just a normal house, but then when you see it from a certain angle, it looks like it's sinking into the grass, look. It looks normal, yeah? It's not on the stairs, but it's all yeah. right. Careful. From here, you've got to take a picture from there. Look in the camera. And then if you tilt your camera and zoom in. Oh, yeah. But it doesn't look like you've hit, like. No. But there, that's the sunken building. It's going to rotate it. It's going to sink. Yeah, whoa, then he fell down the steps. Well, I don't know how famous it is, but yeah, it's like a thing, a sunken building. We're going to go for a little wander around Montmartre and then go back. Oh, look, there's army men. Oh, men behind me. We're gonna do a loop of Rue Lepic, which is a famous street where like Van Gogh lived and loads of um, artists and musicians and people lived. It's also the set of oh, that French film, what's it called? I can't remember, but it's got like the, um, the bar or cafe or whatever where it was filmed. when Van Gogh used to live third floor I think nice little place here it is Café de de Moulins Brasserie from the film. As you said, it looks like we're at that um, dance place. I was like, oh, you mean the Moulin Rouge? Like the only, the only reason he said that, the only reason he knew, is because I'll show you. Because he saw this sex shop <laughs> and these sex shops everywhere around the Moulin Rouge. The Moulin Rouge is just that way, I think. Is it there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just just there on the corner. Can you see it? Yeah. We've already seen it, like, there it is. Can you see the little red in the corner? Right there. That's the Moulin Rouge. So we're just at the hotel. We've just been chilling out for an hour or so, doing some work, seeing some watching videos. Completely all packed up now. It's quarter to 12. We are about to go and check out and head over to the airport. I think I know how to get there. I think it's relatively easy on the, um, on the metro, but things never seem to be as easy as they first appear, especially when you've got bags as well, everything just seems more of a hassle. 
But never mind, let's go. We're making our way to Garden or going to the airport. This is the part of travelling that we hate. Like, look at the seat. My bags. <sighs> My shoulders are just gonna collapse on me one day. But, be alright. We've arrived at the airport. We didn't know. There was two stops, south. west and south. And we didn't know which one we were. South and west. Yes, we were west gonna get we south. guessed that we were west and we were gonna get off the stop and then I just double checked and it was south. Good job because they're quite a distance away from each other. Let's go. Oh these bags. We've got quite a bit of time to wait at the airport. Oh I'm gonna go through this one. Escalator or lift? Oh, says. I haven't yet told you where we're going. This is our first stop, Istanbul. Yeah, we are. Oh, right, we're gonna go and find a way to sit and then I'll uh, speak to you about where we're going. What we are doing now is we are flying from Paris to Istanbul. We have a layover in Istanbul and then over to Dalaman. And we're doing a house set over there near Olodanese. It's about five minutes drive away from Olodanese, which is like um, a seaside beach town. We are house sitting for like crazy amount of animals for maybe two, three weeks. We're not entirely sure how long. Four, so yeah, it's like a gazillion cats and some dogs and yeah it's gonna be a bit crazy I think but that is that's the plan for the next couple of weeks we're super excited you're excited yeah. I think Stephen is the most excited because he just loves cats we can't wait to see them all Stephen we can go and drop our bags we can go and check in and drop our bags I think 15 to 18 down that way all checked in our luggage goes straight to Dalaman which is good we don't have to collect it at Istanbul we're gonna go are we going to go through or what? I don't know. We're all through security, all done. We've bought our little snacks for the plane. We've got about an hour and 20 now until we need to start boarding. So I think I'm going to edit. What are you going to do? Yeah. He's going to go on his iPad. <laughs> There's no use in looking back. Gotta laugh or gotta live Cause I'm so over the past. Okay, it's time to go. We're heading down. We are always, we're like, we literally are always like the one of the last eight. It's like 10 minute walk away. Gate 26. On the way to the gate, we found such a cool area of the airport. There's like, oh, look. Can you just play? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, next time, if we're ever flying out of Paris, they've got PS4s and stuff. Oh, that's so... Oh, never mind. Okay, we'll come back. I think we're definitely gonna be late. It's like five o'clock, we're due to leave at 10 past five. No, we're not bored yet. yet. They weren't bored, and don't know what's going on. There's all sorts of cool. <laughs> Finally, we are through. It's ten past five now. So if this is the time we should be taking off. We're about to go and get on. Hours to Istanbul. This evening, expect particular weather of Istanbul after 3 p.m. Give me details, information about our flight. Future later, I will look the previous flight and also. Uh, <laughs> 
now to domestic oh no domestic arrivals this is Stephen oh no domestic departures we have got obviously like I said before we got a flight from Istanbul to um to Dalaman but it is not today it's tomorrow morning so we are having a little adventure tonight well we thought it was an adventure when we um booked it uh, look at some money pick it up um Picking up the money, I don't know how much it is, but um, yeah, I thought it was, yeah, so we thought it would be fun when uh, when we booked it, like, well, not fun necessarily, but like a little adventure. And I was like, hmm, is this like really bad sleeping in an airport? And then I was asking people, and some people that I knew have slept in an airport when they travel and stuff, so I thought if they can do it, we can do it. So we're sleeping in the airport tonight because our flight isn't like. Like I said, it's like 11 o'clock now, our flight is like 7 o'clock tomorrow. It's not worth getting a hotel. Well, I don't think it's worth getting a hotel anyway. So we're going to go and see if we can find somewhere to sleep. We found our beds for the night. This is so we're going to sleep. It'll be good. <laughs> it won't. You will. Do you want... Let me try it. You want your iPad? Look, we've got a nice view. Out to the plains. Stephen's not happy with this space, I'm going to go and have a look. See if we can find something comfy, but I think it's quite comfortable. Okay, I'm going to look. I can't find anything better. Sorry, this will have to be it. These are the beds. We're going to change where we're going. We're changing where we're going. While I'm on the hunt for the toilets, I found this a completely empty... Oh, a man's got in. That was where I wanted to go. Yeah, so you can put your legs so just a completely empty one away from all the noise of the people. And we can get some sleep. See, it is a little adventure sleeping in the airport. Yeah. Wouldn't it be good if this was our gate in the morning? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we were just here. Okay, we think we've picked. This is our bed. Stephen's just having a little look, check if there's anything better. No, it's the best. That's the best one? Yeah, it's a full row. Full row, with no armrests. Perfect. Well, see, is this fun or what? Yeah, see, Stephen's having fun. <laughs> we probably should be getting to sleep early, but he's uh, ninjaing around the place. What are you doing? <laughs> oh shit, I think I've lost my phone. I haven't got it, I'm pretty sure I haven't got it. Fuck, fuck, Stephen's gone back to have a look where we were just sat, see if it's there. Can't find it. Stephen's been, I've been everywhere. 
We can't find it. The only place it could have been was where we were just going to sleep before. Did you ask? Uh, I asked. Yeah, I asked and she said there was, no, no, there was nothing there. But I looked at, I'm What's sure I looked at the, I looked at the, um, Did you look underneath? I mean, I looked. No, but I mean, when we left, yeah. I looked back, like, to see if we'd left anything. Weren't you holding the phone when we left? You sure I you didn't put it down in the toilet? Yeah, I've just been to the toilet, then and check. Number two, zero, well, seven, I don't know. I think my phone is gone. Aww. That is an absolute... I don't know about... It's, uh, it's a pain in the arse, for one. Like, trying to sort out, get a new one. And also, photos. If I haven't, like, backed up those photos... Oh, yeah. I don't know whether if I just get... I don't know what'll happen, to be honest, but if I lose all those photos, I, I feel like crying. I'm going to go in the back. Yeah. I'm going to end the vlog here. Hopefully, I, bet I went to try and find like a lost property or something. The chances of someone handing it in are there were maybe pretty slim. But you never know. Um, but I can't really figure out. I can't find one. But I'll go back and have a look, I think. But I'm going to end the vlog here. Oh, and I'm really pissed off now. I don't know when I get much sleep. I was really excited about sleeping on these nice little <laughs> chairs. And I'm just pissed off. Oh. I just don't understand. Oh, she understood. I can only have left it where we were, but it doesn't make. I'm sure that I look back. I always look back and check. You put it in the um, thing. I'm going to be picking it up after security. Yeah. Oh, right, I'm going. See you in the morning. Bye.